Hey there, everybody. It's Hardly Bardly back again with another episode of Long Live the Queen. When we last left off, we were still doing our melody, our military run, our mili our melody, our military and weaponry run with Elodie to try to turn her into a warrior queen. And we also managed to actually get another option to talk to Seren about. But um, we are now at the letter we've received from young Lord Adair. We left him with his stepmother yet again. So let's see what this sound says. The same thing as usual. He thanks us. So let's do willful and angry again. She's still angry. Look. Oops. <laughs> Look how puffed up her little cheeks are. He's so cute. She's adorable. She's like a little puppy. All right. So, we still have our bonuses. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more archery and pole arms that we, we can up our swords as much as we'd like. You learn to cut, fletch, and tie arrows. You learn about different styles and sizes of bows. Long, short, and recurve. You practice walking around while carrying a long weapon getting a feel for its size and weight and learning to maneuver without banging into anything unintentionally. That's smart. You learn the basic stances, grips, and positions for the staff fighting, and how to block a blow without crushing your fingers. Also very useful. You have unlocked a new outfit. Yay, that's going to help us out big time. Logistics and trade have failed. But she's a little bit more cheerful. So, let's take a look at our new outfit, guys. Tabard, boost weapons. Oh, yay! She's like one of the musketeers now. Look how cute. I kind of wish that was red, though. I think red would go better with her hair and everything instead of this green color. It just kind of looks weird to me. But let's do a bunch of swords classes. That way, when we get to the tournament, she can participate this time around. You practice moving with a blade, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. You spar with a partner, trading blows while looking for openings to tag each other. You begin the work with a metal blade, getting the feel for its weight and edge as well as learning how to care for it. What a beautiful day. It's nice to stop and breathe sometimes. Oh, that was random, but that was good. So let's keep, let's do one more swords, and, um, pole arms. You practice drawing your blade and striking at short notice from a variety of positions. You learn techniques for thrusting your blade through armor to disable or kill your opponent. You practice standard attacks and sweeps with a long staff. You practice sparring with a partner using a staff. My lady, there are letters for you. These are from Bryony. Hmm. I don't know. Last time we tried to go, we were attacked by bandits. And our reflexes aren't up that high yet. And we don't have good enough battlefield medicine. But even though our composure is good, so that might not help us. We'll send our regrets. One less to angry. So she's back to willful now. But we still have quite a bit of a bonus for over here. So... One more to swords, and then another to pole arms. After this, we'll start learning more military. You learn advanced techniques for holding off multiple opponents at once. You practice special techniques with a staff, such as twirling it or using it to vault. You practice basic techniques with a long spear, controlling your thrust to penetrate specific objects, or targets. Sigh. All my friends are at Gwinnell's party and I don't get to go. Court manner success. She's not upset because she sent her regrets and a gift. Mood. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> let's see, let's see. Back to military. Let's see. Mm, what was our skills on military so far? Let's do a logistics and some naval strategy. You study the kinds of equipment that soldiers need available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, bandages, and the tools to repair anything damaged. You study different kinds of transport. Animals, wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. For naval strategy, you learn that the sea is not something you can hold, or something you hold. It is something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures your free travel while denying it to your enemies. The Duchess of Lilla has sent you a gift. Um, that's unusual. What's this? It's a cushion, finely embroidered with the design of a running horse. It's well done, and clearly required hours and hours of needlework, but it's also fairly useless. That's nice, I guess. Foreign affairs failed. Keep it or give it to Alice. I don't know what that's all about, but let's keep it. Find a chair or sofa to set it on. Sour mood. Yeah. Hmm. One more naval strategy, and then we'll do some more strategy. Um, actually, we should probably do a bunch of actual strate naval strategy. You study the different kinds of thing ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You study the different kinds of ships, their speed, maneuverability, and standard complement of weapons. And we've unlocked a new outfit! Yay! You learn about the requirement for all civilized sailors to rescue the crew of a sinking ship, even an enemy. You learn about the challenges to naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather, as well as the dangers of sailing too close to an unknown coastline. The Duchess of Mead is here to see you, my lady. Oh. I can't remember if we've seen her in a gameplay yet. Coruscant. Duchess of Mead, age 36. Mother is Aris. Father is Nolan, Duke of Mead, deceased. Brother's Kevin, the guy with anger issues. Husband is Ignatius, Duke Consort of Mead. Sister, Charmion, Duchess Consort of Kigal. Daughter, Bryony, Lady of Mead, age 16. Son, Noel, age 8. Her elder half-brother Hyacinth was Duke of Mead before her, but Hyacinth died without heirs. Before his death, Hyacinth was scandalously involved with Paulus, the old Duke of Ursul, Ignatius' father. Hello, Elodie. I'm sorry to trouble you, but have you seen Bryony? No, not since I left school. She sh shakes her head. She's gone missing. She's not at school where she should be. I know she was unhappy, but I never expected... She wrote me a letter saying that she was bored and looking for adventure, but that's all I know. Oh, dear. I hope she hasn't done anything too foolish. My poor little lamb. I have to go look for her. So, that's another storyline we could potentially take in another video. But for now, we'll ignore it and go on with the rest of this one. And let's check out our new outfit. Uniform Boost Military. Okay, that's better. I like this much better. Red's definitely much more of her color. Love it. Love it. And we have quite the bonus here. So we're going to continue with our military stuff. Uh, let's see. Yes. Um, let's do all naval strategy. Boost that up very highly. You learn about the use of ships in transporting ground soldiers between locations. You study the cost, time, and materials required to construct new ships. You study blockades, both setting them and breaking them. You study the effect of cannons against coastal installations, such as enemy docks and seaside villages. You study the difficulty of a sneak attack at sea, and ways that it can be achieved. So yay, we've learned all we can learn about naval strategy. And then all the candles in the room blow out. Oh, look! We can tour the barracks now. 
That must be a new one for, um, military. One less to willful, one more to pressured. Um, let's not. We kind of still need our willful. So, let's do logistics next. Logistics and logistics. You learn about the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals needed to move them. And then those people and animals also need to be fed and equipped. You learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands. And friendly civilians may not stay friendly if robbed. You study how to determine when to jettison or destroy excess goods for speed, and how to avoid overreaching. You learn about how to calculate enemy war preparations based on the movement of goods within their lands. Armies do not spring up fully formed overnight. You study the benefits of looting as a troop motivator versus the negative effect on civilian populations. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What will we offer as prizes? Well, we don't have that much gold. Uh, status and prize was one thing. But why don't we employ them? The winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive. Very well, I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. And then we find a vase. Which we fail because we don't know direct decoration or divination. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kigal. From the Duke? No, my lady, a merchant house. These were the weird chocolates we found. Court manner success. That's oddly high-handed for some tiny trader I've never heard of. Eat the candy now or save it for later. We'll save the candy for later. Let's see. Um, more logistics and then strategy. You learn to calculate how effective military strength wanes over distance from a home position, as it becomes more difficult to put pieces into play. You learn how to delay the advance of an invading force by disrupting their transport and communications. You have nothing learn more to learn about logistics. And for strategy, we've learned two different things. You learn about how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offense and defense. You may now tour the barracks on weekends. We were already able to do that, so why is it letting us do that now? Okay, so I think now is a good time to leave off on this video right before we start the tournament. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue with our military, and then we'll try to get back to some more of the history and intrigue. So, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe buttons. Also hit the notification bell so you can find out about new videos as soon as they come out. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This is Harley Barley, signing out.